Chapter know, four. I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. Hey, Old World is purple. Expert? That was established yeah, in Mortal Kombat 2. Studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Uh That's, the script? Let's stick to the mission. Agreed, agreed. We should stick to the mission. Lee May has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. Because you can always trust an outworlder. But if Outworlds are ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. Hmm. It's not an alliance. It's not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business. Including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Koto Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Hmm. Look. You can arrest us, even kill us, but if we're telling <coughs> the truth, you probably get a pay cut, or worse. Hmm. It's a good Take point. Take us to the con. I'll tell him you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war. We are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Mm. Jin? Uh-oh. Sorry if I'm a little quiet sometimes, guys, but I do like to actually just sit back and enjoy the choreography and the framing in this. Because they definitely improved tremendously on that from MK9. Like, don't get me wrong, MK9 was impressive for a fighting game. But this is just impressive for a video game with how well done it is. Listen to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. Hmm. All right. So fun fact: I don't know Kung Jin at all. I don't know what any of his moves are. I I have only played as him in story mode a long time ago when this game was still new. I think he's kind of like Nightwolf, right? Does he have? He has arrows. I know that. Oh. Oh, and the Celt drops with Aaron Black. I don't know what I just did. I kind of just mashed buttons with Kung Jin and hope for the best. Let's hit him with the X-Ray, since we're going to lose on easy again. Mm. Aaron Black was pretty fun in this game. I played as him a little bit, too. Although, the, th the thing about Aaron Black in this game is Aaron Black's... Worst variation was easily Gunslinger, but that was the only one he had his hat in. And I was like, what the hell, Ed Boon? How come he doesn't have his hat in all the variations? Oh, okay. Alright. Oh yeah, I got a dive kick with Kung Jin. I forgot all about that. Because he's Kung Lao's cousin, right? So theoretically, he should have... Ooh, Ooh okay, we're having some stuttering here. Uh, the stuff in the background driving my computer nuts a little bit. Naturally, as Kung Lao's cousin, he should be able to do some Kung Lao stuff. He runs in the family, you know? I'm a quick learner. Let's play, Tor! 
So this character is called Ferritor. Just ask for a pony like every other girl. And archives never mentioned symbiotes. As far as I know, no one actually liked Ferritor. Except for a, a handful of people. And we'll probably never see Ferritor again. Thankfully. Oh, more quick time events. What do we got here? Circle? Nice. Circle again. Looks like we're gonna go into a fight. Didn't win an uppercut, why not? So, Ferritor obviously is this game's, like, monster heavy character. Aside from Goro, who is not in the story but is uh, a DLC character. And from what I understand, Goro actually is not treated all that well in the comic and ends up, like, losing all four of his arms and stuff. So, oh crap. There we go. Just use arrows. We're gonna just spam some arrows. Because, I mean, Kung Jin is clearly a zoning character, you know? Oh. Alright. Ow. Okay, alright, I see how it is, Ferritor. Ow, ow. I just wanna- Ah, I just wanna hit you and do stuff. Why do you make it so difficult? Ah, what the fuck? Motion. Yeah, the sooner we're done with Kung Jin's b chapter, the better. Because I am just not a fan of him. Like, obviously, I c he's clearly intended for a certain type of people. Uh, like, if you like Green Arrow in Injustice, you'll probably really like Kung Jin in this game. But, this is not for me. Too bad you're insane. In fact, I would say Kung Jin is a good example of Injustice influence creeping into the Mortal Kombat games. And it's not so bad in this game, but it's much more noticeable in the new game, for sure, in MK11. We're here to see Kotal Kahn. General Blaze. You interfere without world matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But as we honor the Rapal Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. You know, every time I hear Cassie Cage's voice, all I can think about is Chloe from Life is Strange, because she's voiced by Ashley Birch, and I don't know, it just, it's one of those cases where like the voice is too recognizable and for me associated with another character so strongly that like that's all I can hear. Raiden is like that too, Raiden voices Dong Zhuo in the Dynasty Warriors games. Besides, like, Dynasty Warriors 9, he's been doing Dong Zhuo for the past few games. Justin would know better than me, but I think he's been doing it since Dynasty Warriors 5. And, uh, 
Raiden's voice actor is Richard Epcar. He also does the priest in Warcraft 3, in case you're curious about that. Um, I don't know why you'd be curious about that, but he does do the priest in Warcraft 3, the human healing unit. I always thought that was a fun little piece of trivia. So this is Kung Jin's backstory. Basically, he was a thief uh, who... It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. Mm. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his <laughs> neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Not far enough. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, Raiden, you didn't walk into the uppercut like everybody else. Oh, crap. Oh, I have this move? Where did this move come from? Can I burn it? Oh, what does it do? Just enhance damage? Alright, Kung Jin, do we have like a kick combo with you or something? Okay. Yeah, uppercut him. Oh, is that how you're supposed to play Kung Jin with dive kicks and dive kick in and then combo off of that? That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, throw him over there, throw him in the corner. We're gonna try some stuff now. Now that I know that. Now that I know the missing piece of the puzzle. Uh, Raiden, please, please stop it. Oh, okay, so then we probably need to run. If I can remember to actually run in. Oh. Alright, Raiden. Okay. I see how it is. We're gonna hit you with the x-ray. Oh. I keep dashing instead of running. I keep forgetting that you have to hold down block to run. I don't know. The way they did run in this game is... In my opinion, counterintuitive to how you would naturally input a run in a video game. I mean, like a 2D video game, but 2D plane, you know? Like, instead of just making it double tap forward, like, with the way they made dashes worthless, Blood of there's Kung no Lao, point to actually keep forward dash. The great Kung Lao, a common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple and walk out again? Without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger. Make you amenable to reason. Make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin, like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. So Kung Jin is gay, in case you didn't know. They just kind of casually Im imply it right there. It is never too late, Which, Kung Jin. Eh, who cares? It's cool, I guess. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're <coughs> not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has. She employs Shinnok's amulet against me? The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care? When Outworld was offered no participation? We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. Hmm. 
But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? <laughs> You're gonna fight a duel? <laughs> to absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of Outworld. You know, this is a weird societal rule. Like, hey, I can just challenge the Emperor to a duel when I'm about to get executed. And he kind of has to accept. That's a little messed up. That's a terrible justice system. Alright. Let's see, let's dive kick in. Oh, okay, we probably have to input that a little faster. Oh, okay, we're on to something here. Oh, yeah, break that. There we go. Oh, too slow, but that's okay. See, I don't really quite know what to do after dive kick, so I can only kind of fumble about with the controller and maybe figure something out by accident. And you might say, Mitch, how come you don't go into training mode and actually practice with any of the characters before you film story mode? And I would say, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> I guess I'm just lazy. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't occur to me. Alright, come on, Kotal Khan. Stop being an asshole. Alright, yep, that's anti-air arrow. Let's hit him with... Me to burn arrow. Get out of here. Oh no. I forgot. I thought that was a parry. I guess not. Well, keep doing backwards arrow by accident. That's alright. That wasn't that bad. The fight with Raiden was harder. And now, Emperor? The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna. Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor. They cannot be trusted. Devora, can you not perceive? I am indebted to them. You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. <laughs> 